Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is doing a tutorial on this eye look right here using the um, Urban Decay Book of Shadows um, palette. So this is the look and if you want to see how I achieve this look then just keep watching. face I did some BB cream and just the normal stuff that I usually you know do but I'll go ahead and I'll put that in the description um, box below so we're just doing the eyes so we're gonna start what we always start off with which is a base so I'm using by no surprise uh, Max Painterly Paint Pot let's see So we're going to go ahead and put a layer, I've actually been putting two layers on my eyes just to try to go through the product a little bit faster because I had this in a, a monthly project panel, it's been in a couple of projects but uh, I just I've had this for a while and it's one of my oldest like bases that I have so I really wanted to get through it so a good tip from Courtney K thanks Courtney was to double up on the um, like you know just layer it put a couple of layers down so I'll put it in yeah I'll let it dry obviously for a couple of seconds and then I'll just go in and do it again alright so once you go ahead and you have your base or your primer down and I always take it from the lower lash line, or I mean the lash line to the brow bone. Um, you can go in with, <clears throat> we're going to go in with our, um, our highlight color. So I'm going to use just any kind of a flat shading brush. Um, this one is, which one is this? This is by Coastal Sense. So it's just a flat shader brush. And I'm going to use the color virgin. You just want to go to the arch of your brow bone and then just smooth it out. And like I've said in a couple of videos, I you know I like to do this because it's just less blending I find that I have to do later on. So if I start with my highlight color, I don't have to blend as much later on when I put my uh, like transition color in or your crease color. Well, that's that. And then for a crease color or transition color, since I'm working out of the um, Urban Decay Book of Shadows palette, there are no mattes in this palette at all. So um, I use the uh, Benefit Hula Bronzer for a like transition or a crease shade. So I'm going to use that. And I just go ahead and I take any kind of a big fluffy brush. My favorite is the Sigma E40. It's the tapered uh, blending brush. And this is going to be like our transition color, just to deposit some color to warm up our eye a little bit. So I take it right above the crease to sort of like that... Uh, highlight color color right here and I'm gonna go in with a smaller br uh, blending brush so I'm gonna use the E25 and this is just a sample or travel size E25 brush by Sigma and I'm gonna concentrate this into the actual crease so right where you like that socket is like if you push on your eye you can feel like that socket between like your I guess your eyeball and the upper part of your eye <laughs> Uh, just get it in there and then we're just gonna sweep it in. Okay. So you should have that right now. Then after that, <clears throat> I want to go in with an actual, hmm, let's see, 
let's go in with a black color. So I'm going to take like a pointed crease brush. This is a round crease brush by uh, Makeup Geek. So it has like that little the tip at the end. Or you can use a pencil brush. That would work too. Actually, I probably should use the pencil brush. That would probably work out better. So yeah, let's switch it. Let's go to a pencil brush. Or, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to use, oh, I feel like this piece here. I'm going to use the Sigma Tapered Blending E45, which is a very pointed, uh, thin, almost like a pencil brush, but a little bit bigger than that. And I'm going to go in with Creep which is just a, you know, a black shade. And we're going to start at the corner and just make like a little circle as like a little point, just a beginning point. And we're just going to carry it down to our lash line and then just in the crease a little bit. Just to give it a little bit more, you know, like a little smoky effect. And obviously, yeah, you can go in as far as you want. I just want to take it in a little bit. I don't want to go in too far. I just want to really keep it at the end like that. And then just blend it in a little bit. So just like that. We're going to go ahead and use, on our lid, we're going to use Midnight Cowgirl. Which is like a, you know, just like a gold, yellow, cream color. I want to say more yellow gold. I'm just going to put that on our lid. There you go. Alright, now that that's done. <clears throat> Usually I put... Um, like a color on the bottom. Today I'm just not. I'm going to leave it just the way that it is. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go in with our eyeliner. I always uh, like tight line my, uh, my upper lash line. So I'm using the CoverGirl Perfect Blend Pencil Crayon. I think it's just in black. Yeah, it's in black. So I'm just going to go ahead and tight line my waterline. I'm going to do that off camera. For mascara, I'm using my um, sample by Tarte. It's a light camera lashes. I really, really like this mascara. Um, I just got done using the um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and I really like that one too. I really like these two. These are these are definitely ones that I will repurchase once I'm done with all um, you know my other samples and other full size um, mascaras I have. But I just really like, I don't know, I just really like the formula, the brush. And dang it, I got it on my upper lid, that's okay. I'm sure everybody knows this trick, but in case somebody doesn't. Um, if you ever get like mascara on your eyelid or anything like that or down below, wait until it dries. Don't, uh, don't try to go in and clean it up right away because you'll smudge. Let it dry and then just take a dry uh, Q-tip and just go right over it and it will come right off. Uh, I just really like that. That's just one coat. But I'm going to go ahead and I'll put two coats on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I did my, uh, both of my eyes, and I just left this on so that you guys can see. Hopefully you can see it, but I, I obviously I put a little mascara on there, so obviously it's been dry now. If you just take, like I said, a clean, um, a clean dry uh, Q-tip and just run it right over that spot, it comes right off. So yeah, just, because I used to, before I saw that little trick, or learned that from somebody else, um, I used to go in and, you know, wet it and then go ahead and put it in and then it would take off my makeup, it would smear and obviously, 
yeah, that's a cute little trick to know. So, I honestly think I'm gonna leave my lower lash line alone. Um, I normally don't ever do that. I usually do top and bottom, but I don't know. Today I'm just gonna do a different. I'm gonna leave it by itself. So, basically, that is the eye look. Okay, so that's the eye look. Like I said it's just no. Oh, I go for a very like I think neutral or natural type of eye looks. Um, but I like it. It just has like that little shimmer of the like the gold color on the lid. <clears throat> it has like the brown in your transition co uh, color. It has the brown in your transition and like that purplish brown color in your crease and then the outer V has the uh, like the black. So I like the way it came out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I enjoyed filming it. Again, this is using the um, Urban Decay Book of Shadows um, palette. That is what I picked out for the month of February, along with the other products that I use today. Um, trying to think. I, I'm really sorry. I really wish I could have done more tutorials. I'll try to maybe get one more in by the end of the month. It's just with going away and being sick and stuff, I basically lost almost a good week and a half to two weeks of February. So um, I didn't get really too much done this month. I appreciate you guys joining me and watching and stuff and if you guys like these kinds of videos please give me a thumbs up and share and if um, you're not subscribed please subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter um, although with Twitter I really am still trying to learn how to use it it is just very foreign to me uh, I thought Instagram was hard to learn but it's uh, for whatever reason Twitter <laughs> I don't know I just I don't understand it <laughs> Um, I'm just not, I guess, whatever, tech savvy or computer savvy at all. So, yeah, so I am on Twitter, um, but I still am trying to figure out how that whole thing works. I mean, I get little dings on my phone, um, but I still really don't know what any of it means. So I'm working on that, but I am on Twitter. But everything, obviously, is linked below. Um, so yeah, I would love for you guys to follow me there. I'm more obviously on Instagram, you know, YouTube than anything. So I would love to have you. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed my little videos. And that's it. I hope you guys are staying warm and healthy. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye.